Well, a promise is a promise. I'm going to tell you about my worst days. So, here we go. Well, there's this entity called Dragoner, which I've already told you about, I'm pretty sure, that it's an evil clone of another Dragoner, which is basically the, the, a god of dimensions, more like a protector of dimensions, if you ask me, seeing what he does, well, I've seen what he does. But uh, it's, uh, apparently it's a friend of my, it's a, it's a good friend of uh, Shadow, one of my friends. Weird, huh? A talking hedgehog. Who knew? Um, yeah. And I just learned that there's a... Uh, well, no, not just learned. The first thing I saw when I, when I heard the name Dragoner, well, I didn't know what it was before. The first time I saw that beast was in Hyper Neptunia's dimension. When I first jumped into the dimension, I... Well, like I said, I can control where I go. Well, I can control where I can go, but as for where I end up, it's random. So, um... I, it turns out, it teleports me into the bathroom, and... Well, you know who were there, right? It's the girls' bathroom, and... Well, yeah, all of the Neptunians were there, and... They saw me, I saw them, and you can already imagine what happened. A few of them might have attacked me, a few of them got really confused with who I was, some of them didn't trust me mostly. Uh, that was that was the black haired girl. Well, I forgot their names already, and I literally just came to the dimension. I hate myself. But yeah. They battled me, I battled them. I'm not going to give you the play to play, it was a quite a good match though. It's a good thing that my powers worked in there, because if they didn't, I probably would have been killed by them, or worse. Nah, I don't think, they never, they never kill. I don't think they never kill. But yeah, we fight, we reach to an understand at some point. Actually, is Star, or whatever her little name is. Wow! Yeah. Isti, which is what Neptune calls her. Tells them that tells them bits that they that she knew about me somehow. Uh, apparently, I'm in a th that she found. She, I don't know how she found out about me. All the crystal well, she didn't know about my crystal, but she knew that I wasn't a threat. Well, my powers are weird. Then we got became good friends, had a good moment together, played, you know, got used to each other, flirted with a few of them. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, Neptune was probably my favorite. Became good friends, and then that day happened. It was the sixth day, and then that dragon showed up. It, it like I said, the size of it was something I've never thought, never, never faced at all. It was bigger than, it was half the size of a, of a city. It was incredibly strong. The first thing it did was shoot one giant laser in the closest island. And just like that, that island was destroyed. All you could see is just a black hole and broken skies as the dimensions were breaking. For the first time ever, I was afraid. But we had to fight it. It was strong, fast, and intelligent. All but all it cared about was eating and devouring and destroying everything it sees. We tried fighting it, they went on their XZ forms, even even past that, which was pretty cool to see. But not a scratch. We kept on attacking it non-stop. It wouldn't go down. And it, and it will seem to and the longer it stayed there, the worse the town and the city and the world got skies breaking more people dying, dimensions starting to break even more, and it was getting bigger. The more it was, the more it was sucking up the life in that in that dimension, the stronger it became. Then it took on an entire day. It was my seventh day, so I disappeared. The last things I said to them were run, and then 
as I saw them chase, fighting, fight, going, going back to fight it. And then, well, whatever dimension I went into next, I just wanted to get there as fast as possible. All I, I was worried about was that. But when I came back, my fear came true. They were all dead. Every single one of them. Ripped apart. Blood everywhere. Towns destroyed. S sky destroyed. Everything. And right next to my feet was... Nepsi. You know Neptune. She was holding on to Crystal. They managed to break a piece from it. And they've learned something important about me and that dragon being linked. I don't know how they know, but the first thing I did was pick it up from Nipsey. Yeah, and then I picked it up from her, and she died. She was missing a leg. She bled out. And then all I thought, all, all, all that was running in my head was despair and hatred. And then that, that crystal glue inside my body. All the power of it went inside my body. And I basically became power of a god. Well, you could call it a god if you want. But... I threw everything at it. That was when I was able to, to go through my limit. Of course, with me using that power apparently, I can, I can very, very dangerously destroy that dimension. Just like this dragon was. But all I cared about was killing it. So I threw everything, and I was able to summon giant swords, giant lasers, giant, giant lasers that are big enough to destroy half a, half of the planet. And that, and our fight took, took more than probably four, maybe three days, and it was already bigger than a planet. So I mustered up every last strength and managed to trap it with 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 a few chains that I made. And, and put one final giant beam right at the center of its stomach. It, it was disappearing. I thought I finally avenged them. But when I looked back on the Nep Neptune Eastern world, everything was cracking. There was nothing left. Of course, I felt guilty because I felt like it was all my fault, which it was. But that dragon had to go down. But a few journeys later, it came back. When some crazy person called Eggman found one of my crystals, because yeah, these crystals are spread everywhere. I don't know how or why. All the crystals on its stomach just spread everywhere. From all of the dimensions. I can't, I, can't, I can't even tell you how many. Just means I'm just never gonna. S this battle between me and this dragon will never stop. This Eggman or whatever managed to find a crystal, use it to power up this machine, and that's when I learned that we were linked. When the tr crystal was being used, I felt pain almost. Not pain, pain enough to kill me, just a headache. So, I went and followed that dragon. Because, like I said, by then I knew about th th these crystals. It wasn't the first time an idiot tried to take, uh, take, the, take the crystal and use it. Uh, so many evil people did it. So I was pretty much, I knew what this meant. Made. If I had a headache, that means that dragon did. Basic, you know what you're wondering? You just put a hole in it, it should be dead. It doesn't matter, you can disintegrate it, blow it up, it will always reform in its own dimension. It just can't die, no matter how many times I kill it. Other, dim other dimensions can handle killing it too, I can name a few. Like I said, only probably just two dimensions I can think of. Because this thing is just too strong for anyone else to handle it. And I literally have no choice but to use the crystal. Use, you know, its power against against itself. 
can't admit, can't, I can't lie that I almost died myself a few times. But I'd rather that than watch all my friends die. Again. So yeah. Turns out that, that, that dragon can't die. When there's a... When there's a... When the dimensions are slowly breaking or something like that, or someone's messing with dimensions and causing them to break and... That will also upset the dragon, give him a few headaches, kind of like what it does to me. And I know what you're probably thinking, if I die, maybe the dragon will die, and then this whole world will be safe. Some random guy that learned about this power, you know, somehow he had it before me and he managed to... He was a very old man. Of course, I was going to be an old man at some point, I better just... Yeah. He learned about it and basically told me that if you die, well, it won't matter. If you die, the all, all, all the dimensions around you will just break. So if I die, it's game over for all the dimensions. No, uh, no pressure there, right? Yeah. So when I learned about that, yeah, apparently this was the first one that had the power. Yeah, he was doing this much longer than me. But he was old. And he was about to die. He was glad and grateful that he found somebody to, that had the power. If anything, I wonder if he... No, can't be. Well, anyway, um... Uh, <laughs> turns out that I managed to find this dimension. I need to find a way of not dying. Because if I die, you know, because <laughs> the older I get, the stronger the weaker I'll get, right? Because that's what humans are, because I am partially still human. <laughs> but I did jump into this dimension, by chance of course, that had this special thing. I don't know what it was anymore, I can't even remember, because I've been through so many dimensions already. Um, that pretty much keeps you from aging. Could be the elixir sort of life, could be, a, could be a drink, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not the choose one cup, and if, and if you choose the wrong one, you die. Because if I die, the whole dimension dies, so I don't, don't think I'll do that. Yeah. And ever since then, I cannot age. I can still die and struggle against the boss, which uh, I would like if I, I don't want to be cra crazy with power. But at least that dragon won't be destroying any dimensions as long as I'm alive. There you go, that's my story. My life. My crazy adventures. Uh, probably none of you cared, probably no one's been watching this because I was just in a dimension and this is not being recorded. Right? Probably. <sighs> you tend to go crazy when you're all going to dimensions that have no one to you. I remember going to a few. Well, anyway.